So the anti-Trump brothers, the Krasensteins, have been permanently banned from Twitter. Here's what The Hill says. Twitter on Thursday permanently banned anti-Trump brothers Brian and Ed Krasenstein, stating the brothers had violated the site's terms of service by operating multiple fake accounts and purchasing account interactions. The Trump antagonists had large followings and were considered resistance figures to President Trump on the prominent social media platform. Ed Krasenstein had amassed more than 900,000 followers before the ban, while Brian Krasenstein had nearly 700,000 followers. The ban was first reported in the Daily Beast, quote, The Twitter rules apply to everyone, a Twitter spokesperson uh, said in a statement provided to The Hill. Operating multiple fake accounts and purchasing account interactions are strictly prohibited. Engaging in these behaviors will result in permanent suspension from the service. So, um, they swear up and down that it's not true, that Twitter's just wrong, this is not what we were doing, um, they, they prod Twitter and say, hey, release your evidence, they say they did have other accounts, but the whole point of the other accounts was to monitor threats against them. Do I believe the Krasensteins? No, <laughs> I don't, um... But having said that, do I think this is a, a punishment that fits the crime? No. Now, this also happened with Jacob Wall, too. Jacob Wall is like a literal con artist and fraudster and on the Trump side, pro-Trump side. And um, I think they got him on a similar thing of like, I don't know if it was buying fake followers or operating multiple accounts. And I mean, this dude is literally like trying to frame, he tried to frame Robert Mueller or something, accusing him of sexual assault. He tried to hashtag me too, Robert Mueller. I don't know. It, he's he's like a, he's just a solid, vapid, soulless, vapid grifter on the right pro, who's pro-Trump and he's been permanently banned. So let me explain to you what I think is happening here. There have been a, a couple of high-profile examples of right-wingers who've been banned. Alex Jones, like I said, Jacob Wool, Laura Loomer is another one who's like kind of I think white nationalisty, super far right, really awkward. Milo, of course, has been banned. Um, and I think what Twitter wanted to do is give themselves an out, give themselves some wiggle room. And so they were looking for somebody, some people who were somewhat high profile on the left, nominally on the left, and... The Krasen scenes were the perfect example of people who they can make an example out of so that they can, you know, sh whenever the right complains about bias, they can show the carcass of the brothers Krasenstein and go, you said we only go after the right. Look, we took off the Krasensteins. So what are you talking about? We're even handed. We're fair. Whether it's the left or the right. In my opinion, no, you shouldn't, it, the, basically the Twitter death penalty for operating multiple fake accounts and purchasing account interactions, that doesn't make you, like, criminal, and that doesn't make you, um, unsalvageable, it just makes you fucking really creepy weirdo douches. <laughs> Like, operating fake accounts, again, they say it was uh, to monitor threats. I don't believe them. Um, it was probably to, to blow themselves and tweet themselves and say, Oh my god, you guys are so wonderful and so hot. Don't, like, all women love you? I'm sure that they were doing stuff like that. But again, that doesn't make you, like, irredeemable or a bad person or you should be permanently gone from social media. That just makes you, like, really sleazy and narcissistic and self-aggrandizing. And I don't think a, a fair punishment for that is permanent... Twitter ban. But again, I think that this is more of uh, Twitter being able to show the right what happened with the Krasenstein's to go, ah, 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 you can't criticize us and say we only go after the right. We also go after the left, too. Look at what we do with the Krasenstein's. Listen, my general rule is, and you guys all know this, lean as heavily as you can on the side of free speech. Can there be some sort of suspension for violating the rules and operating fake accounts and shit like that and purchasing account interactions? Sure. They, hey, you broke the rules. We're going to give you a timeout. You're going to be gone for, I don't know, you pick it, a week and then we'll let you back. Um, but a permanent suspension 
it's 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 too punitive. It really is. And uh, just for the record, I hate the Krasensteins. I do. I really do. I think they're like the epitome of how not to resist. Because any and all arguments against Donald Trump, they will use. So it's like, they're the type of peop- types of people who, when Trump an- announces like, hey, we're pulling out of Afghanistan, they're like, how could you, sir? The Afghanis need us. Or when Trump announces we're done with TPP, they're like, I think it's a good thing. Like, no matter what he says, they say the opposite. They don't ground their, you know, their resistance in morality or logic or reason or a coherent version of leftism or anything like that. So I don't like them, but that's irrelevant. I still think this goes too far. And, uh, you know, I think that if there are people on the right who are caught doing similar things, again, same kind of punishment, maybe a week suspension and then you let them back on. But I think we, we are going to too much down the path of more banning from social media, more of a crackdown, and I simply don't agree with it. I think, as a general rule, you want to lean as heavily as you can on the side of letting people say whatever they want and do what they want. doesn't mean you have no rules, it just means you have few rules and you can enforce those intelligent rules in an objective and reasonable way. And, um, yeah, I think, like I said, I think there's more of a political angle to this than people like to admit. They want to be able to show the right. See, we went after the left, too. But you guys have been going after the left. The idea that you haven't gone after the left. Fucking, um, Peter Douche had his account removed. This was the parody of Peter Dow. Peter Dow used to be this hardcore Hillary Clinton supporter, like, centrist parody. And then actually, kind of surprisingly, he's become a hell of a lot more reasonable recently. But either way, Peter Douche was banned when he had his parody account. There's been countless lefties who were accused of being Russian bots, and of course they weren't, but they were taken down. And also, let's be clear, you think that even other presidential campaigns, like you think that the the D-tier presidential can, uh, candidates don't have fake followers and operate fake accounts to retweet their shit and... Uh, Don't purchase account interactions. I guarantee you any kind of investigation into the election and the different candidates on the left and the right, I would I would honestly guess a majority of the candidates running in the in presidential race and at the congressional level and at the Senate level, they're definitely engaging in these kinds of activities. Hundred percent. We know Mitt Romney did it. We know he bought fake Twitter followers. We know Newt Gingrich did it too. So, should they be permanently banned? Again, that's the same kind of rationale you're giving for cracking down the Krasensteins. So should... I mean, what if we find out, and it's very possible, Pete Buttigieg. Hey, he bought fake followers early on. Or Kamala Harris did it early on. What what are you going to do then? Are you going to ban fucking Kamala Harris or Pete Buttigieg permanently? No, you're not going to do that. And you're not going to do it if a Republican does it either. If, you know, whatever, fill in the blank. Mike Pence did it. You're going to ban the vice president? No. Trump all the time tweet violates the terms of service. You don't ban him. So see, that's the point is that it's not, you're not objective with these rules. And also the rules suck in the first place. <laughs> so there's just so many problems with Twitter. What they do is they always respond to the public pressure as opposed to like taking a principled stand and arguing for it, whatever that principled stand may be. They just, you know, kowtow to the crowd even if the crowd is wrong or saying something silly or demanding something happen so it's just it's really silly and they're not going to be objective on this front and even though i hate the Krasensteins, i don't think a permanent ban is is the right approach here i think that's uh actually really silly